Hurricane Aaron currently has wind speeds of 110 miles an hour. So that's category two, but if the winds go up one mile an hour, that puts it at category three, and we are expecting that to happen during the day today. It's moving to the north at 13 miles an hour. The center of circulation, the eye that you see there, is still about 350 miles to the southeast of Cape Hatteras, and the track's going to start going more to the northeast. In fact, there's the satellite enhancement that shows the eye a little bit better with the bands wrapping around the center. Now, what's going to happen over the next couple days is this hurricane is going to track between the Outer Banks and Bermuda, possibly as a category three for a while here with winds 115, 120 miles an hour. But notice it moves over away from the United States by the time we get into late tomorrow and into Friday. There's high pressure off the East Coast. Here's where the storm will be, but there's going to be this trough in the cold front approaching from the West. So this hurricane is going around the area of high pressure, and this trough is knocking it away from the East Coast. That's why we have high confidence that it's not going to get much closer than it is now. What it will do, though, is it's pushing all the water up against the coast, and that's going to cause some waves, possibly 12 to 15 feet along Virginia Beach and the Outer Banks. And go a couple miles offshore and the waves may actually get up to about 18 feet and those waves will start to relax later this week but we're going to have dangerous rip currents there not only for the next 24 hours but for the rest of the week and the outer banks will get one to three feet of storm surge here locally there is a tropical storm warning near the coast mostly for the bay but our coastal areas may see some wind gusts over 39 miles an hour as the storm passes by and we also have coastal flood alerts it's a watch right now, but this will likely get upgraded to a warning with one to three foot levels above normal during the high tide cycle. So again, this is going to be a coastal system, but it's going to be wind and waves there. Uh, we'll see locally across the metro area some wind gusts over 25 miles an hour tomorrow.